We are once again seeing how the war in the Middle East is impacting people here in Northern California. Pro-Palestinian protesters brought the Golden Gate Bridge and a major East Bay freeway to a standstill for hours, stranding thousands of drivers. And the far right side of your screen there, in Davis, police are looking for a man targeting supporters of Israel. Lots to get to here at 10. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Marley Ginter. As tensions and fears rise on both sides of the war, CBS 13's Ashley Sharp is in Davis with why police there are looking to charge this person with hate crimes. Ashley? Hey guys, well, just for context, this is coming just on the heels of a civil rights complaint being filed against UC Davis just about two weeks ago. Students then telling us that this was regarding allegations of anti-Semitism on campus, telling us that they didn't feel safe necessarily going to school and being in the classroom. Now, this is a series of targeted attacks to homeowners reporting to police that they now don't feel safe in their own homes in Davis. Caught on home surveillance video, the moment a person walks up to this Davis front door and using a knife cuts down a homeowner's Israeli flag. Davis police say it happened twice, an identical flag destroyed not far from here, both on Friday around midnight near Chestnut Park and L Street. Well, it's our goal to provide a community, you know, a, a safe place for all faiths, backgrounds, and you name it. When someone's victimized like this, you know, the, it, there's a lot of fear that comes with that. Davis police say they're investigating the two cases as hate crimes. Well, both victims uh, feel that they were targeted due to their faith. Some Jewish community members say this doesn't surprise them. It was really an attack on that person and their right to hold their belief. Jason Weiner is chair of the Jewish Community Relations Council of the Sacramento region. And it might seem like a minor thing, right? But this is something, first of all, that's really dangerous and invasive. It comes as the Israel-Hamas war escalated over the weekend. Tensions both in the Middle East and here at home on the rise. You know, what would you advise the Jewish community to do? Is it that you stop displaying these symbols uh, to prevent any type of retaliation? I wouldn't advise that. So we hear this question a lot and people are feeling very scared across our region. I think that uh, that we have to continue just to, to live our lives as much as possible, um, but but do so in a way that that um, that keeps us safe. Davis police say anyone who recognizes this person should come forward. We're asking the community's help um, and, and hopefully we can we can bring him to justice soon. Davis police reiterating that to them, this issue takes no side. They work diligently to get to the bottom of any targeted attack like this. The suspect in these cases is looking to be charged with theft, vandalism, and also hate crimes.